One of the codes I live my life by. <laughs> Always a good start. <laughs> is that my appearance should be in no way noteworthy. But then again, not so unnoteworthy as to be in itself noteworthy. <laughs> what do you think? Well, if it is true, you're certainly carrying it off. <laughs> <laughs> when did you decide on this code? It didn't happen suddenly. It just, you know... It sort of developed. Well, the way it I developed. felt comfortable being yeah. sort of gradually formed into the... The philosophy, and I don't think that's too grandiose a term, that, <laughs> that I have read off a card for you today. <laughs> I would say, you're, since you've got a beard, yeah. you have become more noteworthy. The answer to that is I've enjoyed growing a beard, but you're right, because I've grown a beard, some people have said, oh, I see you've grown a beard, or he's got a beard, look at his beard. And I hate Can those I just moments. put you up on the point? I deeply hate those moments of being physically noticed. <laughs> have, you re have you really enjoyed growing a beard? Well, no, well, that's what's so odd. I mean, I haven't, like, hugely enjoyed it. It's no. not been like a brilliant roller coaster. <laughs> but, but it's just very, very slightly I've enjoyed it. And very slightly also I've had a sense of achievement. Of course, it's, it is no achievement. It's actually a failure in personal oh. hygiene. <laughs> but, but it feels like an achievement. But you, you surely went through the difficult, itchy stage. I did go to this. No one enjoys that. No, no I, I call them my teens. <laughs> <laughs> do you do you make these rules about the, everything? Uh, are the underpants you're wearing unnoteworthy enough to be on? You know what I'm saying? Are they? <laughs> no, no I, I don't think. Sorry, I, let's start again. Are you wearing underwear? <laughs> uh, yes. Okay. I, I don't want to sound too sexy, but yes. Oh. <laughs> sound too sexy, but no. Oh. Under my underwear, I'm naked. Oh. <laughs> David, I yeah. want to know not what you consider noteworthy, I want to know what you consider so unnoteworthy that it becomes noteworthy. A grey tie. If you were in a suit, and like you're in a suit-wearing scenario, yes. and you wore a grey tie, that would be so unnoteworthy as to be in itself noteworthy. So a grey tie... It could be so colourless, so not wanting to draw the eye, it would draw the eye. It's how you spot spies, isn't it? People who are just trying, trying to... to blend in so much, they blend it in so much they're noticeable. It's true. Isn't like it? a chameleon. If there was a chameleon in here, yeah. it would stand out. <laughs> I'll tell you what, it, if there was a comedian in here, it'd stand out. A worrying round of applause on the subject <laughs> of our purpose, isn't it? Is it true or is it a lie? Make your decision. I think it's true. I think it's very plausible that David would uh, be like that, yeah. OK. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's true. True. I'll yep. go in my team true, and say true. true. All saying true. David, truth <laughs> or lie? Yes, well, of course it's true. <laughs> <laughs>